My name is Chad, I'm with Fox Plumbing and Heating. Today we are going to go over some of the different uh, isolation valves that you would shut off in case you had a natural gas leak in your home. Uh, the first thing, if you don't know what natural gas smells like, it, they put an odor in it that smells like rotten eggs. You'll know it if you smell it. If you do smell it, if it's bad enough or you hear a hissing noise, I would evacuate the home immediately. If it's something that you can isolate the valves, uh, there's certain valves that you would see for like your water heater, your furnace, your gas stove, gas dryer. There's a few different valves you might see. This is a uh, gas cock. It's just a ball valve. When the handle is in line with the pipe, it is open. When you turn it, crossways with the pipe that means it's shut that's one kind you would find another kind is works the same exact way it just has a lever this is called a ball valve if it's with the pipe it's open if it's crossways with the pipe like that that means it's shut you'll find these kind of valves on like i said your water heater your gas furnace your stove your dryer anything that could take gas so and another kind you might find is a gate valve. This is the uh, righty tidy, lefty loosey kind of valve. So if you're going righty tidy until it stops, that means it's shut. Um, another good thing that you could have put on your actual water or your uh, gas meter outside, which we're going to go over here in a minute, is called the earthquake valve. Especially on the west coast here, you can have this installed on your gas meter if there's an earthquake that they can put this in for a reasonable price and if there's any kind of disturbance vibrations in the earth it'll shut this valve so that you don't have any potential gas leaks in your home because when there is an earthquake that's when the fires start happening and they can't really control those fires when there's a fuel source like gas leak like that happening so an earthquake valve, these are a very good thing for the western part of the country. This here is your gas meter that you will find on the outside of your house. This is where the main shutoff is. Uh, you'll need something like an adjustable wrench like this to shut the, the thing off. It's got a ball valve like I showed you before. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put this on the slot like this and tighten this up like so and there's two eyelet holes where they can put the lock on there if somebody don't pay their bill they can lock your meter and you'll just rotate it 90 degrees and line the two holes up and then that way you'll isolate be able to isolate the gas to the home now that being said this is just if you can see an immediate problem and you know where the gas is coming from but gas is a dangerous thing if you do smell a lot of gas in the house don't use any cell phones in the house don't start any lighters anything like that evacuate the home all the people there call the gas company and also call your local plumber to take care of the immediate problem